everyone. Welcome to the Thursday show. Hi, how are you? Are we ready to get some crafty going? All right. So as a reminder, the glass mat, actually, I, you know what? Again, I'm disorganized. <laughs> I forgot to get organized for tonight. <laughs> All right. Bear with me a moment. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping before we get started here. Okay. Uh, so what I'm curious is, I think this glass mat is available. Yes, it is. It's on their website. $82. You get some accessories with it. So if you want it, I'd say grab it before it's gone again. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm like, oh yeah, glass mat. Alrighty. But we also got to do last week's raffle prize winners for the, um, who watched last week's video. And I was not prepared, but that's okay. All right, so let me get a piece of paper. Let's get that step out of the way before I totally forget and be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was just we're pretty distracted. You know, I got home from work and my partner's upstairs chatty, chatty, chatty. We're going over a bunch of stuff and life and things and stuff. Oh, we got to do two draws, by the way. Two draws. So let me get my notes here. Boop, boop, ba, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, the weekly results. So last week there was... Hey, Kathy. Thanks for watching. So last week we had six, no, six, five people who watched the video. So I'm just gonna write down their names. Because we'll do a draw for last week's. And then there's also a draw for purchases for the last month. Let me find my notes on that. Uh... All right, so we got five and five. We'll roll with that, okay. So how this works, I should explain it a little better. We do each month, anyone who makes a purchase with me gets something. Oh, and my buddy puppy. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and my puppy decided to knock things over. So he's a little startled right now. My older puppy of the two. All right. So now I got to grab my spinning wheels, which are here. So that's the one I used last time, but I don't need that one. Uh, there's a fiver. All right. So there we go. So I made these spinning wheels a while back and I just kind of share them. I keep reusing them over and over. Just making sure that doesn't fall over. All right. Yeah, so. <laughs> the usual. I'm always scattered on a Thursday, but it's all good. Once I get going, everything will be a little more clear and make more sense. So what I do is I do a draw each month for anyone who makes a purchase of me. And I also do a weekly draw for anyone who watches last week's video. So we're going to do both. And this shall be fun. Now, last week's video. Good question. I'm trying to remember what that was. I have it here somewhere. Um, I'll, I'll review in a moment what last week's card was. Because just for some reason, it's not... Woof, I know. I got two puppies. I got Buddy here and Ivy's nearby. She's adorable. They are the, my bestest two... Oh, yeah. Last week was my Canada Day card. That was it. Now I remember. Which I don't really know where I've put them. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I got Buddy on my lap. Here, I'll show you, Buddy. Hi, Buddy. Come over here, Buddy. Come on, Buddy. That's Buddy. He's a miniature golden doodle. Hi, big boy. Oh, my God. He hasn't done this in a while. He has not curled up on my lap in a video in like a couple months. Hi, big guy. Oh, yeah. So Buddy is 15 months old, so he says he's a year and a couple months. Miniature Golden Doodle, he's like almost 40 pounds, this big guy. He is an apricot, dark apricot color. He looks more blonde today, just the way the light's hitting him. He's just had a haircut. Oh, I know, big guy. I know. He's like, what is all this stuff? Hi. It's good to see you, big boo. You haven't jumped up in a video in a while. Mm. All right, you gonna help me spin? 
So let's make sure my spinning wheel is good to go. Oh, hi, big guy. Oh, I know. All right, let's just make sure we're good. Okay, it's working. All right, so I keep it between one and five. And you gonna help me spin, big guy? <laughs> All right, so number five, we're gonna do the draw for last week's video. Number five is Angelique. She wins my candidate card. <laughs> And then we're going to do the draw for last month's prizes. So I was going to give it another test spin. Alrighty. And then here we go. And number one, Jenny wins a prize for last month's purchases. So we're good. Yeah. Oh, hi, big guy. Hi. Oh, <laughs> he has not done this in a while. Good boy. All right, so I gotta put that back up. So we've done the draws. So we're gonna. So tonight's video is based on uh, about my card class. So I run a card class each month. It is a. P P it is a. It's a. Can't even talk now. I got buddies distracting me. Boop boop. boop. It is a fee. It is a, it's a reasonable fee. We make usually three or four cards depending on what we're doing. So what I do is after I do the card class, I do what I call a catch up video. To show, hey, this is what we made. This is what we did. In case you still want to see what we made. And I got to be careful. That buddy decides not to eat. Oh, oh, oh he's got my cable. <laughs> oh, he's so cute tonight, isn't he? All right, I'm just gathering all the materials. Yeah, I will do that right after the video uh, for the order link. Yes. Uh, just something to keep in mind, Kathy, is this month... Uh, if, if anybody spends at least minimum $60 order, there is a $6 coupon that's redeemed for next month, which is, so they're kind of, kind of bonus days right now. But yes, I will definitely send you a link after. All right. So I'm just gathering all these materials and also looking at my original cards. As for the classes, that's something through me directly. Um, if people are interested in attending my classes. So how it works. So yeah. <laughs> I'm still disorganized today, but it's all good. Yeah. So tonight is featuring the cards from my class. If people are interested in my classes, talk, contact me directly. They are open to Canada only, as well as the shopping link for Stampin' Up! is, again, Canada only. I want to clarify. All right. So I'm just going to gather some materials, get some of this prepped. So I featured a retired stamp set for my version, which um, I think it's called Glad We're Friends. It is a really cute stamp set. And then we're just going to start with this color, this fresh freesia color. And I'm just going to put some of the supplies off to the side. And we're going to get going. So I need this. I need that. Whoops. And I need that. And I have all these little circles that we will need later. But we'll come back to that later. And I also need one of these white pieces. Whoops. For the inside of the car as I'm throwing papers everywhere. And then lastly... I paired with for mine. It's a gonna be a great day, which is really, really cute. Oh, cool. That sounds like a good idea. We also have really great crafting kits as well. That's all inclusive. It comes with everything in the kit to make whatever the theme is. Uh, and it, I, I find they're wonderful. Like, for example, one of the old crafting kits. I got one of the boxes here. An old one here from that I use now for inks and other stuff. But yeah, no, our kits are really, really good. I recently showcased the last month or two um, the Happy House Plants kit, which is four picture frames, which includes all the pieces to make the little plant stuff inside the picture frames. I also did the home decor of the Wreath of Blooms, which is really beautiful too. So there's lots of great products. And they, each month we have two new kits that are added to the website. I have yet to check it out myself because I just haven't got around to it. It's been pretty crazy here. So I just fold that in half and I bone folder that to make sure it's good. We sell these minus the name portion in case people are looking for a nice handy bone folder. All right. So then we also sell the, I, I prefer there's, there's different types of glue. There's liquid glue. There's tape runner. We've got two types of tape runner, light blue and the dark blue. I prefer the dark blue, my preference. We also have Terran tape, which is, um, it, it was here. Now it's hiding from me. It's like a, it's like a double sided tape done differently. So we got lots of glues and we got also cardstock, cardstock, cardstock. I was going to double check that my size is good. 
So I'm just going to put some glue on this, my tape runner. I say glue, adhesives, whichever. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, we got some great kits. I will drop you a link of what we have. We got some wonderful crafting kits. So I'm just going to glue this on the inside. There we go. And then, just looking at my original version. I'm going to take th this piece. So all the decorative papers featured from this class are from, um, I think it's called Bright and Beautiful Designer Series Paper. It is really beautiful party-like paper. So for this one, I'm going to glue onto the front of the card right there. Oh, and by the way, FYI, uh, at the bottom of the screen is my website link, but I will type up a another version for you and send it in Messenger after. So the two links that you see in the below of the screen, Stampin' Up! is the main website. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription, which is a little different. But both websites have kits. It's just Paper Pumpkin is subscription only versus Stampin' Up! has everything else. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on. And then I'm going to take this again, this really nice, bright and beautiful paper. I'm just going to put a glue on the front, kind of like that. And now I'm going to use different glue. So here's where it gets more interesting. And let's try to find my piece of glue. Because I, I keep a little box of tools up there. So we have these foam adhesive pieces. Which makes it like a 3D effect. So I'm just going to flip that over. And then put these little hexagons. One in each corner. And one in the center. And this makes the product, like the project, stand up a little more. A little more 3D look to it, which I think is lots of fun. Oh, that'd be awesome. I would love to see that. That's like, like when I started getting into this, I, I was more for adult self-care, mental health and that. But it amazes me that so many kids really love this stuff. I've done some in-person events the last couple months and the kids, they just love it. So it's like, yeah, like I, I've been more trying to branch out to include more all ages. Which I think is more fun. And it's fun to see you know, the parents' reactions to the kids. The kids sit down. They start crafting. They get really into it. So there. I put that on with the 3D pieces. So it's kind of hard to tell on camera. But it does kind of stick up a little bit. Eh, it's hard to tell right now. <laughs> and then lastly, I got this cute little... It's going to be a great day. I'm going to flip that over. This is just my little garbage bin. And I'm going to put some glue on the top of the tape runner, okay? And I'm going to put some dimensionals, 3D pieces, on the bottom. That way, this will rest really nicely underneath that. Yeah, oh yeah, I, even I had trauma as a kid. I wish I knew about this, like, as much as Stamp has been around for 35 years, I wish I knew about it when I was a kid, because this is really awesome stuff. So then there we go. There is our cute little fun, it's gonna be a great day card. And from there, you can always decorate some more. I'm just gonna grab some embellishments, which are, again, hiding from me. I gotta clean up my little bucket here. Where's the embellishments? You know, for once I can't find them. <laughs> They're here somewhere. All right, there they are. So I keep some of these kicking around. They're really fun to decorate some more, and I'm gonna decorate a little more tonight. Now these ones are not the greatest ones. I got these from another source, because there's a lovely friend who gifted me a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm like, hey, I, I try to use them up. I try to gift out as I can. And I'm just looking for one more tool, which again is hiding from me. Okay, <laughs> I can't find my tools tonight. I've got this cup just full of stuff. And I cannot find one item. <laughs> this is my night. I cannot find any tools. Alright, let me pull everything out. Okay, I am certainly missing a tool tonight. Okay. 
Well, that's great. <laughs> huh. Yeah, now I'm just trying to look at my desk here if it's somewhere else. Yeah, I'm missing. I, I have a pokey stick, as I call it. That. Oh, I found it. It's in my other box. That's the thing. I'm looking over for it. It's a great, the, the someone, again, a fr my friend who gifted me the embellishments also gifted me this great little pokey stick that she got from a store where the one side's got a nice little bone folder end, which also can be good for making score marks, and a nice little pokey stick, which makes it a lot easier. Stampin' Up! does have our own, which is really cool too. It's a multi-function tool, but lately I've just been kind of gravitating to this for as a quick moment to do a few things. So I'm just going to put a couple of embellishments on here. Because I'm like, hey, why not? Alright, so that one's done. And then I got two more that I've already made ahead of time. So I'm just going to do some quick embellishments. Because I'm like, you know what? It needs a little bling. And we'll get to the second card design shortly there we go and then let's get a couple more embellishments for the last card because I think embellishments are fun one there we go and I knew I cut a slit here somewhere I see it now Last one here. Come on. There we go. Okay, this one's good for now. So that is the first of the three cards. I usually make extras, and I will be giving out one of these as a prize for the video tonight. I'm just going to put this away before I lose it to something. Alright, so let's do card number two. I'm just going to change up my system here. So I got white card stock. I'm just going to fold in half. Just adjusting some of my tools on the table. There we go. Fold in half. Right, right orientation for where it needs to go. And I'm going to grab a piece of white. I'm going to put the panel white panel on the inside why even though it's a white card base i like to put at times sometimes i, I used it a lot more and i kind of got away from it is a panel on the inside because it actually thickens it up the back a little better and as well if you make a mistake you can pull that out and put a different piece in or if you want to re-gift the card because i know some people have done that <laughs> all right so i'm looking for a piece of green so again this is the bright and beautiful paper and this one I did properly size because when I did the design, when I was cutting the papers, I actually slightly goofed it a tiny bit, but that's okay. So I'm just again using the, the Seal Plus. Because I find that the Seal Plus sticks a little better than the regular Seal. Yeah, I just got to twirl it around a little better. Try to get that on. There we go. And this is a great way of. Um, uh, doing using white cardstock and adding a piece on the top. Hey, all good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can imagine that's got to be super busy. Yeah, I've been doing vendor events as well, so I, I can get you. Yeah, doing events is exhausting. So thanks for watching, and I will shoot you a message at the end uh, of the shopping link. Alrighty. So I got these three strips. Again, bright and beautiful. Cur uh, uh, designer series paper. So I'm just going to lay these out, more or less centered-ish, and then just glue it on with regular glue. 
or whichever glue you prefer. Okay, that's one. And then my neighbor's texting me. My uh, delivery is here. <laughs> I will text her in just a moment. Let her know I got her message. I got two puppies who are curious. What's going on? All right, let me do a short, quick message. And now Buddy's decided to go barky, 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 because my neighbor's home. Oh, my foot's itchy. Oh my goodness. All right. And then next up is this really cute, I'm blown away by you. And it goes on with dimensionals. And this card's more or less good. Oh, I know, big boy. I know our neighbor's home. <laughs> Yep. Welcome to the chaos. Good boy. And Ivy's like, yeah, okay. Thanks, buddy. Alright. <laughs> buddy. I know he's being such a goofball. Alright, so I'm putting dimensionals on this. Flip over. Put in the center. And this card's good to go. But of course, let's add some embellishments. Why not, eh? So I had them out earlier. There they are. So then I'm just going to cut another strip here. So why I cut these is these ones from an unknown source. Because I actually don't know where these came from. Because uh, they were gifted to me. I find because they're, they're actually glued right across each of the lines. So I cut them. And it makes it a lot easier to work with. And that's where I use the pokey stick to try to get at them. And let's put one down here by our little friend. Isn't this the cutest little puppy? And then one there. And then I'll put one there. Isn't that neat? Cute little puppy. And then we gotta do the other ones. Because I never did put embellishments on in the first place. I really should. Like, that's that my friend who gifted me a whole bag of embellishments. She's like, the hint is, use embellishments. I'm like, I know, I know, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor's acknowledging. I'm like, oh yeah, you know your video. Yeah, it's all good. All right, there we go. That's three on that one. Let's do the last one. I'll clear the message that you're not seeing her name. <laughs> but isn't this doggy so cute? All right, now I need one more embellishment. So let's cut one more. Good to go. And I'll just pull that one little one I just cut off. And woohoo! Alright, that's card number two. So card number three is the most complicated one. And it took a lot of work. Now as you can see, I've got all these circles. So let's count them. Because i got to make sure I have enough here. If not, we have a little problem. <laughs> and these are all die cuts, one at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I have twelve. So now I gotta match up the patterns. Because I had some logic to how I did this. 
so I'm thinking of using all that side. So I got a total of 12. And the card base for this is this color. Um, I think it's Lemon Lime Twist, I think is the color. I actually really have grown to love this one. So I'm just going to fold in half. And to already tease, this, this version I actually featured as a puzzle take home. So if you're interested in doing, excuse me, I'm not burpy. If you're, if you're interested in doing this on your own, I have packets of this made up. If you want to try your own, I, this is like one of my favorite ones I came up with. And it's only $3. If you want to try out this card and come up with your own version. The only difference is you don't get the stamp's name. That's the only difference. Everything else you get, you get the papers, you get all these die cuts, which I have to do individually one at a time. Alright, so I'm just getting this going. So I'm putting dimensionals on this one because this is going to go on the front of the card. Alrighty, and then we're going to open it up and put this with regular glue on the inside of the card. There we go. And then the fun part, we've, I'm going to cap. So now I don't need the glue anymore. I will be using all the next steps will be dimensionals. So all these circles goes on this card like a puzzle. Hence where the idea of making this into a puzzle was really, really cool. And it helps to lay ahead where you're putting all your pieces because when you start gluing, then you know what you're doing. And there we go, more or less like that. And then tweak as need be, you know, kind of move them around if you gotta move them around. And there we go. So then start gluing them down and I'm going to use dimensionals for every single one of these. And it doesn't matter which side of the items you use of the circles. It could be the pink. It could be this. I'm just going to go with this pattern for today because I'm really liking it. And again, these are featuring the bright and beautiful designer series paper, which is beautiful. I'm actually glad I got two packs of it because this paper is so much fun. And by putting all the dimensions, can you already see these are stepped up versus those are looking pretty flat? So it really creates a 3D effect. And the thing with the puzzles, take home, you use your own glue. That way you can use whichever is your comfort for glue. Because I think that's really important to use what you know. Where yes, we sell all these products, but sometimes it's like, hey, or other times it's like you run out and it's like, hey, it is what it is. Need to use some glue, use what you have. Oh, I didn't even pull the white caps. Oopsie. I thought I did. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And you can see those first four have 3D. I can tell on that screen. They look really cool. So then continue on. Glue in every single one of these down. There we go. And then the last row. Here we go. Really, really cute. Alrighty. 
And one, two more. Actually, I keep pulling off white caps off of other ones accidentally. <laughs> Alright, and then the very last one, I'm just going to grab the one with the white cap is already off. There we go. And then we're going to grab this and we're going to put dimensional on one end, dimensional on the other. And then this is going to go, glad we're friends, right in the center. And there we go. That is our last card. Super, super cute. And this is the other variations I made of the same card. There we go. And you know what? I'm not going to add any embellishments because I think the circles are super, super cool. But you can see how different circle pattern papers can, and it's still part of the, of the bright and beautiful paper pack, is really, really neat. There we go. Thank you for watching. Now, lastly, because I made all these cards, a little something I do is called the Angel Policy, which is where I stamp on the back the Stampin' Up! name. And that means anyone, any, no matter if you're a demo or not, anyone, if you use Stampin' Up! products and you want to sell the cards, you gotta have to put the name on it. And I just need to find an ink. You know what? I'm just going to use this Parakeet Party because I'm like, why not? And I already have set up Love What You Do with the Stampin' Up! name. And I use these nowadays in all my newer cards. My older cards have Color to Kitty Stamp. They have some other stuff. It comes and goes depending on what I get into. You can tell this ink pad is like already well loved. So this color is actually retired, but you know what? Who cares? It's still a nice color. There we go. Love what you do. Stamping up right in the back of the card. Super, super cool. So let's do it. Awesome. And what I also do is I will stick a sticker on the back of these as well with my information when I hand these out because, hey, it's a good idea to advertise what I do. Because maybe someone else might love to learn more about this type of art form. And then three more. And then the very last card, and that's it. That's it. We're done. That's super cool. And I'm just going to put this. These are the big ink pads. I was going to put that big guy away. And then I have here a bucket of water that I keep my cleaning sponges nice and moist. So this is what one of these looks like. This one is well loved. <laughs> and I just use that to clean my stamps. And I'm good to go to the next time. There we go. That is it, my friends. Thanks for watching. And uh, feel free to catch the replay if possible. If you want to see more stuff, give me a shout. If you want to win one of these three styles of cards I've shown tonight, please comment on the video. Because so far, Kathy, who's been, who was watching the video, if she's the only commenter, she wins one of these beautiful cards. No problem. It's my gift to you, to anybody who watches, because without you, I wouldn't be here. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Bye for now.